The following video is sponsored by InstantMaddenCoins.com. The only place to get Madden Coins instantly on every console and platform is InstantMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 17 Ultimate Team video. And guys, today what I've got for you is a content update. You might have seen this getting talked about a little bit on Twitter today if you're over there. But seasons are back. Head-to-head -head seasons are back in Madden 17 Ultimate Team. This is pretty good news, I think, for the majority of the community. Uh, yeah, they tried something new this year for Mutt, and I just don't think it's been working out for them. And thankfully, they've actually recognized it, it seems. And they're going back to the system that they've had in the previous few seasons, or previous, previous few years, I should say, of Madden. And basically, it's going back to the same type of system that they had before, where basically you're playing... Uh, a, a, basically what it comes down to is kind of a, a season, like a simulated NFL season where you play through the regular season, and then if you qualify, you make the playoffs, and you can go on to eventually play in the Super Bowl if you win enough games. So it's going to be very, very similar to what we've had in previous years. Divisions are back, so you're going to have you know your tiers depending on how good you are. You're going to go up into the higher tiers, and you're going to be able to get better quality uh, you know, rewards and things like that. So that's kind of cool. But what's very nice is that this year they're doing a thing where basically you have to win seven games before you get four losses in order to qualify for the playoffs. So when you qualify for the playoffs, obviously you're going to get better rewards than you would just from, you know, standard playing through your season. So that's obviously a good thing. Once you make it to the playoffs, basically what you're going to need to have is three wins to get to the Super Bowl. So if you just qualify, if you barely qualify, you got to get three wins in order to qualify to play in the Super Bowl. Now, if you win all seven of your regular season games without losing any games, so if you go 7-0 and in the regular season, you are also going to get a bye, just like we've had in previous years, so that's kind of cool. Uh, but it doesn't matter what tier you're at, you're always going to have that be your goal, which I am, I, I am so much happier with because in previous years, it got ridiculously difficult to try and actually win a Super Bowl in Mutt. Like, it, it was just obnoxious. If you were in, like, the all Madden tiers, you basically had to win every single game to even qualify for the playoffs. And you were playing against better quality players, too. So uh, I'm very happy that they decided to make that change. Again, it's seven wins regardless of how many or what division that you're in. And then you're in the playoffs and then obviously three wins to get to the Super Bowl unless you had the first round bye. So that's pretty cool. Um, and the other thing that's nice about this is no more tickets, no more event tickets like we've had in other game modes, uh, your mutt seasons and things like that. It's a big improvement in my opinion because none of us really want to pay for those freaking things. Like those things should be for competitive game modes and mutt is not a competitive game mode. So I'm glad that they've decided to make that change as well. Basically, instead of t instead of having the event tickets, it's just going back to the standard contract system. One contract per player uh, per time that you have them in your lineup per game. So that makes things a lot easier. There's no more locking in your lineup, so that's good, obviously. If you're pulling packs and you get something good, or if you buy a card off the auction block, or if you make a trade or something like that, you just get that player flat out. You can put him in your lineup, and it's just like it would be if it was a solo challenge. So we definitely like to see that. That is a major improvement. And another cool thing is that there are bonuses for both wins and losses, but if you're quitting out, you don't get your loss bonuses. So that's actually something that is quite a bit different than what we've had in the past. Uh, in years past, there were a lot of people who would just go in and quit out of games because you would get rewards for doing that. And then they would just de demote themselves all the way down to the bottom tier. And then they would run through everybody. And then they would get their bonuses for actually playing in those lower uh you know, divisions. So it, it kind of defeated the purpose of actually getting to a higher level at a certain point. Cause like I mentioned before, it was so hard to make it uh, to the Super Bowl or even to the playoffs in those higher divisions. So um, what they did now is they made it so that if you quit out of your game in the first half, you don't get your loss bonus. And I believe there's also going to be, they didn't really go into detail about this, unfortunately. And I, by the way, guys, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I got all this information from the Mutt cast that they did today on Twitch. Uh, Mutt Guru was on there. Uh, Jake Stein, those guys are, are always good to, to talk to. Um, they talked about all this information. So that's definitely, uh, you know, it's coming from a legitimate source here. But they're still working on the fine details. So some of the things that you're seeing on your screen here, as far as like rewards and stuff like that, 
you might not be getting the actual rewards. Uh, those might those might change a little bit here or there, but I think just the general concept is what we're going for here. So, so uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, one thing that they did also point out is that it's going to be somewhere between 4,000 to 15,000 coins if you win a Super Bowl. So I definitely like that. Um, that's a good number, I think. For you know, if you get to the high levels, it's basically two two pro packs. If you're at an all Madden level, uh, which is definitely a good thing. And the other thing, the last thing, they didn't show this unfortunately, but the Super Bowl winning presentation is back. You know where they have Roger Goodell hand off the trophy. Um, I don't know if they have a legend handed off like they did in years past, but they're definitely having some sort of a nice presentation for Madden 17 this year with the Super Bowl presentation. So that's definitely a good improvement as well. The confetti falls from the sky. Everybody cheers. You're in your jerseys. So it's definitely a, a nice thing to have this year. I think that this is a cool improvement, but I want to hear from you guys. What do you think about this? I think the majority of people are going to be happy about this, but there might be something that I'm missing. So let me know in the comments section below if you guys think that this is a good improvement or if they're going in the wrong direction. Thanks again, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, do me a favor, drop a like on it, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.